stands are just packed over here. Yeah, you know, I don't think we've seen a uh, Olympic size of ice this season uh, anywhere in our travels. And and a goal, Cole Bell from the line. He shoots, he scores. I'm not sure if that was tipped in front of the net, but as we were talking about the ice here, Cole Bell had the puck at the line. He fired it in on net, and it found its way through. We'll have to get the official call. I'm not sure if that was tipped. 18-16 left to play in the first period. The Junior Flames get the first goal of the game. Actually, Lamaca on the ice. Lamaca on the right wing. Puck is dropped. Face off. One by the Lumberjacks. Comes well, Dylan over the line. He shoots. He scores. And Cleveland only seconds later tie this one up at one. Now it's dropped. And an odd angle shot, and Cleveland scores. And it looked like Busterna, who had the puck on the near side. And I could be wrong here. Let's see if we get the number. I think it is Busterna. He fired an odd angle shot from the near side. I have no idea how that found its way into the Quad City net. Uh, in, some, in some way, uh, nice winger lost his stick. His stick was about 10 feet off the back of the net. Around to the far side after it's Bell for the Quad Cities. Far corner, he'll loft it the length of the ice. Finds Rusnak at the line. Rusnak's in on a breakaway. Makes the move back in. He shoots, he scores! 10-23 left to play in the second period. And the Flames tied up at two. I don't know. I don't know what if you were watching or not, Mike, there. What, what happened was, was Repka got there to the top of the, the Cleveland zone and actually saw the uh, the Junior Flame get the puck here in the zone and, and called for the pass from clear out there. He saw it coming, was great positioning, and and <laughs> got in the zone with shoot score. So Ben Rusnick scores for the Quad Cities on a breakaway. Problems on the road as well. Face off to the right of Nice Winers, won by the Flames. Bell from the near side pops down to neutralize. Meyerhoff had trouble handling. Here's Rusnick, steals it in on net, partial breakaway. Goes to the back end. He scores! With 2.4 seconds left, Quad City with the go ahead goal. They take a 3 to 2 lead over the Lumberjacks. Ben Rusnick, is he hot tonight? His second, second breakaway, breakaway, two for two. That's a power play goal for the Quad Cities. The junior now spawns it carrying over the Quad City line. Centering feed is picked off by Keyes, who tried to clear, but was knocked to the ice. Up to the line, Meyerhoff. Misfires on a shot, bounces off the end wall in front, and Cleveland scores. That's Joe Spazzi. Ryan, it doesn't get much tougher than that. A very odd bounce. Meyerhoff missed, missed the net on his shot. It bounced off the end wall back in front on the opposite side of the net, and Spazzi just put it into the net. You know, nice winger was caught out of position. Had to play it in front, but it was picked away. Now Butita moves it ahead. And I'll tell you, Butita is a very dangerous player to have four on four. He's so fast. And he shows why skating down the near side, puts on the brakes. Dodging Lambert, plays it up to line. Meyerhoff, wrist shot, he scores. And overtime, Meyerhoff from the line, roofs it. And the junior Lumberjacks win in overtime.